had two weeks where people were crying, there's no volume, all that, and all of a sudden, boom, all it takes is one, one mover. And the thing with astrology, this is the uh, countries in Asia kind of thing. They believe in the Lunar New Year, which is about based around the moon. I won't get into too much, but it's the year of the tiger, guys. Doesn't hurt to uh, take a look. You know, there's certain years are good for traders, certain years are good for you, things like that, happiness. So take a look at that, guys. It's just Eastern philosophy of that. But uh, we had a great meetup on on Saturday, this past Saturday. Uh, who showed up, guys? Raise your hand if you're here on Instagram Live that showed up on the meetup and let it, and I want to bring someone on or something to let people know how it was. It was great, man. We, we had over 200 people come up. This is the first, this was the first meetup we had in such a long time due to the pandemic. And we didn't really know, you know, uh, the effect of the pandemic. People were scared, all that, but people showed up. Over 200 people showed up, guys, at a park. We were at a park somewhere near Los Angeles, Southern California, and people showed up. People had a great time. We hired security. We had two security guys. The security guy, one of the security guys was blown away. He's like, oh my God, dude, I never knew. I never knew that, you know, so he might be interested now in training stocks. You know, because uh, the first thing I did was I told the guys that showed up to the meetup, take a look around. Take a look around and look around. These are the real traders that sitting at home, guys. Uh, because a lot of times people think that trading is for Ivy Leaguers, for Goldman Sachs, the guys in a three-piece suit. You know, so I, the first thing I did was to make sure that everyone realizes that, hey, we are all the same. Look at, look at how I'm dressed. I am sitting here, you know, trading in my office. This is this is the, the the new generation of traders, guys. You know, make a million dollars a year, whatever that is, in my fucking underwear. Not really not in my shorts, but you know, it's like, you know, this what you think of a day trader does not is not realistic. What you think it is, it's not the Wolf of Wall Street. It's not. It's nothing like those guys you see on TV, guys. You know, we we are real people. Just this is this is you know the the fact that we have an internet connection, the fact we have a brokerage that let us trade these stocks. We are now competing with the Goldman Sachs. Believe it or not, you know, guys. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are guys at home that make more than the, most of those guys out there too. You know, just we have not heard about. It. So I mean, if I make pretty much more than most of those guys, Alex, let's do so. Um, but anyways, guys. Anyways, so the meetup was great. Uh, where should we do the next one? That's what we think right now. We want to figure out the next one. We did a, a West Coast. Maybe do a East Coast. Maybe Miami. Maybe up in New York. Um, you know, the weather. Depends on the weather. Depending on... Uh, we didn't make people wear masks. It was outdoors. I thought I got sick from it. But hey, I'm fine. You know, I'm vaccinated and stuff. But um, where would you guys like to do the next meetup? You know, type in here what you guys want to do. You know, be realistic in the in your location as well. You know, uh, we have to have a you know, easy hub for everybody to fly in, things like that, guys. So, um, we did Miami before. Um, <laughs> I had one in London. Uh, we had one in London and in Paris uh, a few years ago, guys. So you guys recall we I was over in the Europe. So um, we had one in Miami. We, we we so now we're back on the tour, guys. So you know, make make your presence known. It'd be great. So I'm going to talk to, uh, we had one in Vegas before too, guys. We had a few in Vegas. So you missed those. Um, so I'm glad that there's a lot of interest coming back. Um, so the meetup was great. What, what do you guys think? I want, to, I want to hear from the guys that, were, that went to the meetup. What do you guys think of the meetup and how we can do better? So who here went to the meetup? I saw some people saying they went to the meetup. North Korea. There's a meetup every day online, guys. We uh, every Tuesday, you know, this is a meetup right here. Wait for the bots to come. Here comes the bots. Uh, if I see people posting weird characters and stuff, that is not <clears throat> English. I I I, I would block them because there's a lot of these bots that are, I don't know where they're from, but they they're all over the place. So, Atlanta uh, is a great city. I've been there. Uh, so who showed up the meetup, guys? Uh, I want to see who showed up the meetup uh, and let us know uh, how it went. So today is the beginning of what's called Chinese New Year, guys. So Lunar New Year, look it up. It's uh, it depends. Each year is gonna be a different date based upon the the location of the moon and things like that, right, guys? So 
this year it happened to be on this date. Maybe next year it could be on the day before or the day after. But around this time is, you know, around the end of January, beginning of February is the Lunar New Year. So based upon the moon. What does the year of the tiger mean for trading? I posted this, guys. So let's see. Let, let me bring up my Instagram. I mean, my, my. You can do more research on yourself because what happens is in, 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 in the uh, forecast of the year of the tiger, it's very dependent upon your sign. So it's not like a blanket, like, oh, this year's gonna be great for everybody. And so the one thing about, about the Chinese Zodiac is that it's pretty, it's pretty, um, pretty realistic in terms of it, it's, it's going to tell you this is your bad year. You're fucked. You know? <laughs> and then it said that for me and it, it came true. So usually when it is your year, people think that, Hey, I'm a tiger. It's good for me. It's actually bad for you. So in, in Chinese Zodiac, the year that you're born in, it's actually the worst year. So let me, let me bring up this. Let me see. So then, so what happens is when it's not your year, guys, you need to Google to figure out how to mitigate the risk. Same thing with day trading, okay? It's, it's like you know you're in your bad trade. And so if this is a year of the tiger, you're in a bad trade. How do you reduce your losses? And so it's very important if you are born in the year of the tiger to check out. Okay, look, year of the tiger. Here's the predictions. They have all of these from New York Post. <laughs> okay, let, let me do for the New York Post. <laughs> let me see what happens. This is a, the American. I'm, I'm hoping that they, they brought in the... Uh, let me see. What was the one I posted, guys? Uh, I'm going to post a simple... I posted on Twitter. I'm seeing. I forgot which date I posted it on. That was that was yesterday. I posted that yesterday, sixteen hours ago. January thirtieth is when I posted it. Here we go. This is this is it in a nutshell, guys. I happen to be here. The ox. Thank goodness. Last year was the year of the ox, guys, and you know I had some bad. Uh, personal things happened to me, not necessarily financial stuff, but more like a personal relationships and all that stuff was, was really bad. It was a really rocky year for me, as Alex knows, in terms of relationships, whatever. So that was my bad luck year, guys. And so this year, I thankfully the o the ox and the goat are luckiest for this year. And if you're the rat, the snake, the monkey, the pig, the dog, you would need to make comparatively more effort. So basically, it's a nice way of saying if those are your years. You better work your butt off this year, guys. It may not be a good year for you unless you are working harder. And if you are a rabbit, a dragon, a horse, a rooster, you might be having a great, smooth year. But don't take these things for granted. Just because it says you're having a great, uh, smooth year doesn't mean that you can just lay around and do nothing. It means go about your business be yourself, be, just do what you're normally doing and it'll be okay. But if you are one of these animal signs, you need to get off your, your lazy butt and do something. Make a bigger effort. Okay? Make a bigger effort. So I'll give you an example. <laughs> so the, the ox and the goat are the lucky signs this year. And I, I, was, I, I fell asleep at 5 p.m. last night. I fell asleep at 5 p.m. Uh, I'm like, okay. Then I woke up and I'm like, man, I'm not gonna. Maybe I was gonna sleep through dinner because I'm trying to lose weight, guys. I've been eating, I've been eating so much, so much junk food and stuff. So I decided to sleep through dinner. And then at midnight, what happened was, uh, you know, my girlfriend called me. Other people called me to wish me happy New Year. Next thing I'm up, I'm up, I'm wide awake at 1 a.m. Right? I'm like, what the hell am I gonna do? So I start to go and look for food. So I ate some food. <laughs> the funny thing is. I'm supposed to sleep through dinner so it saved me weight. 
So I ate a big old pot of ramen that I made. I passed out. So Alex was awake when I was awake. So it was like 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Alex was awake, out, you know. And then Alex said, what are you doing up? You know, Alex, couldn't, Alex you couldn't sleep. I was trying to sleep through my dinner. But then, but then people woke me up to wish me Happy New Year. And so... So what happened was, then I overslept, my God. So I was excited for work, it was 3 a.m., the market's gonna open in two hours, you know? Um, not, the, well, the pre-market, anyways. And so I overslept my alarm, I just woke up at freaking 8 a.m. over here, which is like 11. And so I, I missed the entire open. But then, by missing the entire open, I'm so mad, but the thing is, there were not many stocks, guys, that were, that were favoring my style of trading. There might be, so not many stocks actually went down. There are so many traps that went up. I'm just giving you all these, okay? Look at these. They went down, they went up, they went down. So in my opinion, oversleeping today, oversleep, look at this, man. These stocks are just crazy. They're all up. They're all up. They're all up after thinking the, the open, right? So Alex made money on AMC and he made money on KS. CP. So the only chance I got was making money on KSCP because I don't trade AMC. I don't trade those stocks. And if I'm looking around, like I trade these other small caps, I might have lost, guys. And so it might have saved me because remember yesterday, Alex, we were talking about the markets have shifted. There are a lot of I felt traps coming in the small caps because yesterday it was trapped all over, it. and I, I I I managed to make money yesterday, but I could have been trapped all over. There's so many traps. And so surely enough today, this open, there's so many traps too. So I'm, I'm accrediting me missing work to being fortunate this year. So I was blessed. I woke up late when I woke up late. Hey, I'm making money, making money is one thing, but losing money because, because you're trying to force a bad trade. You know, I was so eager. I was so eager to trade today's new, uh, Chinese new year. Uh, and so I was like, dude, I gotta make money. I gotta make money. I have to make money because this, this will set the tone for the rest of the year. And so, so I might have lost, guys. Seriously, I might have forced myself to fight these stocks that have not dipped. Some of these stocks like PRVB. My God, look at this. V PRVB, where is this? Dude, some of these just finally dropped. And I woke up and I, I, I tried to short that at six line, but I missed it. Here's PRVB. Look at that, my gosh. It went from all the way to the open. I, I, I might have shorted it at 540 and then 560 and then it teleported to six bucks. You know, these stocks, the thing is, the thing is, when you're eager for a trade, when you're forcing trades, that's when you lose. So the fortunate thing for me maybe is, you know, I maybe the fortune, the gods, the clouds, whatever, told me to fucking take it easy. So I want to woke up now, I'm like this, I am so calm. I don't need to make money. I just need to make, I don't need to force myself to make money. I've just, you know, the, the best way of trading is to wait for the stocks to come to you. And if you happen to make zero dollars that day because nothing fits in your setup, so be it. Don't force yourself. Today I wanted to make a monster money because I'm like, it may set the president for the rest of the year. Right guys? And so I I, I probably would have lost. Because when whenever I come into the market thinking I'm gonna bank, I'm gonna bank, I lose. So, you know, I'm taking it easy now. It's okay. So maybe, maybe this sets the tone for the rest of the year where you know what, man, guys, I I'm going to be more relaxed trading and not force myself, not put pressure on myself as being, you know, the biggest trader or the worst trader, whatever that may be, right, guys? Um, and maybe this is going to change my happiness this year. Who who knows? I believe everything happens for a reason. And I'm look, I'm waking up, I'm seeing all these stocks at highs, and it's eleven o'clock, and they zombied up. And I'm like, oh my god, I got saved because when eleven o'clock comes, guys, and and all most of your screens are straight up with no dips, it means that short sellers have been squeezed, that they lost. Okay, guys? And so this reminds me, you know, this this year, who knows what is, what's going to happen, but risk management, do not force your trade. Do not Just because you made millions last year doesn't mean that you, you should be entitled to make millions this year. You know, just because you lost last year doesn't mean that you're going to lose again this year. So that's the thing. Every year is a new year. It's a clean slate. And so I'm actually very well rested, man. I I I am I'm happy. I'm rested. I've <laughs> I'm waking up and I'm okay with missing the open. Last year I would've been like a panic. I'm I am killing myself to to trade. You know what I'm saying? So this year maybe it's a good thing. You know, maybe it's a good thing that I realize that there's more important things just sitting around the screens. I love trading, guys. I'm here. I'm 
I'm sitting here right now helping the members of the MIC. And I'm doing an Instagram live now, you know, late. And so, and I'm happy to do so enough because I'm forced to. So maybe that's a new thing. Who knows? I, I'm a really superstitious guy. I'm a really, I'm into all that stuff, you know. So I'm trying to always, when, when things happen to me, I always, I don't think of it as a negative thing. I'm, I'm reflective in the sense of what did, what is this? mean to my life? Why did this happen to me? So I always look at it as a learning experience. If uh, it's either you win or you learn guys, because you know what, man, bad things happen all the time and we can't cry about it. We are way more than blessed guys. If I lose money and I'm pissed, there are people out there that don't even have an opportunity to be on an iPhone like me talking to you, right guys? So everything happens for a reason. The moment that you change your attitude and and go from a defeatist cry to a realization that everything is a lesson. It's like the the Zen, the Buddha, right? Whatever it may be. But you know, this is how I, I this is how I'm able to get to where I am in life, coming from nothing, coming from Vietnam on a boat with no education, no nothing. I didn't speak English right until I was like six, five, six years old to learn to speak English, right? And look at me now. People can't even tell that I'm Asian on the phone. So. Um, so everything's a blessing in life, guys, and maybe that's my that's my that's my calling in life to help people, not necessarily to be the biggest baddest trader in the world, because you know I am not the biggest baddest trader in the world, and it's okay. The moment you realize that it's okay that you don't that you don't need to be a millionaire, or a billionaire, or whatever it is, right? That you could be the the best dad or the best friend or the best brother or the best uncle, right? And then that's enough to help someone, right? So who knows what it is, guys? We go through metamorphosis all our life, and so during these times, we're very reflective. My family is all back in San Jose right now. I'm planning to go back on Thursday. Uh, the reason I stayed here is because of the meetup. The meetup was over the weekend. I, if it wasn't for the MIC meetup, I would be back in San Jose with my family on Chinese New Year because that's a big traditional thing where you need to be with your family in Chinese New Year. And so, you know, so MIC is my family, guys. So that's why I realized, I mean, you know, I mean, family extends more than just your bloodline. It could be your brother Alex and Tasha are my brothers, man. I mean, I don't have any real brothers, in, like bloodline, but but they are the closest thing that I have to a real brother, right, guys? I have, you know, I have maybe a half brother somewhere around the world, with the, you know, but no, it, blood doesn't mean brotherhood, guys. So that's the thing. So that so I'm hit, sitting here at MIC, you know, alone. In my apartment during Chinese Year, all my family and friends are celebrating back in San Jose, you know, getting drunk, fireworks, and here I am sober. I am sober sitting here helping my MIC family. So that's what you got to realize, guys. You, you, everybody needs to be part of a community, guys. And so training for me has been giving me that family because I, I really don't have a very close family. I have a small family, but we're not like super tight. And so I've always wanted that feeling of inclusiveness, belongingness to could be MIC, could be whatever, guys. So the moment you feel it, feel that love, you know, it, it, life is great. You don't need to be the best trader because before I needed to be the best trader on Twitter because I was alone. I had no one to talk to. I needed everyone to love me. And so I was, became the fucking modern rock. Now I, I don't, now it's like I, when I go to meetups, when I go to meetups, I, I, I am not a extrovert by nature. I'm forced to be that. I don't like to talk to people. I don't like to be, just leave me alone. If, if I like to talk to people, I would not be a day trader. Being a day trader meant for 15, 20 years, I'm sitting alone in an office by myself with no human beings around 15 years of my life has been in a in an office by myself so by nature anybody that's a day trader is not an extrovert guys the you know we we like to sit by ourselves just like alex right he doesn't like to talk to me i'm the same way but you know man i'm forced to come out of my shell things like that so uh so that's why when you when you see me at meetups i'm kind of weird Cause I'm like, I don't like the attention, man. People come up to me, hey, can I sign you? Can you give me your autograph? I'm like, autograph? Who the hell am I? I'm not Brad Pitt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the more people that come up to me and they go, I, 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 you know, I, you know, like, thank you, Bao. I respect you. It gives me so much pressure, man. It's like, no, no, I'm not that guy because I cannot fail anybody. If I fail on someone, oh my God, Bao fail. If Bao fails, how, what chance does it have for me? Right, guys? So you guys are your own idols. Don't, don't, 
you know, I, I feel very weird. I'm appreciative as hell that people come up to me and sign, make me sign books or whatever it is. It's just weird. To me, it's just weird because who the hell am I? You know what I'm saying, guys? So don't give yourself any. I really had no topic for today, but I think it's Chinese New Year. So it's a it's a rebirth. So every year I'm, I'm reflective, just like just like uh, January 1st is a rebirth for the Western culture, like China, uh, Chinese New Year is for the Eastern culture. So. My, my phone just went really weird at all these points. So, all right, guys, um, who went to the meetup? I want to raise your hand. I want to bring one person to the meetup and let me uh, just let everybody know how it went. If not, though, I'll let you guys go back. But, you know, Happy New Year, Year of the Tiger. Oh, shit. Can you hear me? Yeah, my, my, my phone is all weird today. It's weird. <laughs> we want to keep this short and sweet, guys, I guess. But uh, why don't you uh, – I want to put up a post about what cities we should do next, okay, guys? So we're going to say which, which cities we'll do next for the meetup. Let us know. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Happy New Year.